Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to look at the description box down below where I've linked all my social media and any of the books that I've mentioned in this video. So this week I actually saw a tag, I think it was Peru's Project, I want to say, so Regan there, did a kind of end of the year book tag, which, I mean, it's still November, but I mean, I kind of, like, I plan my reading out, so I kind of have a general idea of what I'm going to do, what I'm going to get done, and I know, you know, I have a good chunk of time around the holidays off from work because my office closes, so I am actually really excited, and I think this is going to give me some really, like, I can give myself a pat on the back because I don't think I've realized how much I've read this year, and, like, I've read some bad books, and those are the ones that tend to stick in my brain, but I've read some, like, super amazing books this year, too. So I think this is going to be a kind of a cool way, so let's get started for the end of the year book tag. So the first question was, are there any books that you've started but haven't really finished this year? And kind of yes. So The Last Neanderthal by Claire Cameron. This is one that was mentioned to me, I think, in April. There was a provincial conference and the Dewey Divas there were there with a session. Claire Cameron is a Canadian author. She's written a couple other books, I think, but I've never actually read her. I, I, the name sounded familiar. And the concept is really interesting. It's not a big book either. It's kind of an alternating historical fiction-y between present time where there's the archaeologist who is dealing with, you know, low employment and uh, you know, limited funds in terms of, you know, for academics, especially in paleontology, or I don't even know if it's, no, it's not paleontology, it's, I think, technically archaeology, but, and then it's Flash, and she discovers a rare find of finding two different classifications of human, or not humans, but, like, of our genetic timeline, or whatever it is, like, there's the Neanderthals and then the one before that, so she finds this rare site where there's two different classes of beings in the same strata like they were there together and that was not something that's ever been found so that was really cool and then it switches back and forth between like the neanderthals and the, those classes of people and kind of what led up to it i got i think about three or four no maybe 50 or 60 pages in, I just kind of had to put it down. I absolutely intend on finishing it, and I don't even, I didn't really consider it a DNF because I didn't really start it. I didn't get a chance to sit down and go through it, and it's just a very interesting, weird book. I ended up having to put it down just because it has kind of like just weird scene where I was like, ah, uh, okay, I need to walk away from this. It wasn't like wrong or anything. It was just very weird, and I had never read something like that, so I am going to try and get this finished in December, I think. I also found an audiobook for it, finally, in Canada. So I think I'm going to try and use that and kind of follow along. Because it was really interesting and the writing was cool. The next question is, do you have a winter read? Kind of. I just want to try and read as many historical fictions as I can. I am just in this, like, zone with historical fiction or, like, fantasies with historical kind of feels to it. I mean, today is Saturday when I'm filming. This will go up on Tuesday. But, I mean, like, I read... I started the Library of Fates last night at like 11 o'clock and I fell asleep with my face in the book, I think on page 161, and like I'm determined to finish it by the end, like by dinner time. And it's like, it's such a good book and it's got the historical fantasy kind of mix. The next question is, are there any more upcoming releases that you are excited for for 2017? Well, as I'm filming this, I mean like, the Renegades was like the last like massive release that I can really think of, but I do have two books that I'm so excited about and they come out, I think December 5th. So the first one is These Rebels, The Rebels of Gold, I think it is, by Elise Kova. It is the third book in the Loom Saga trilogy, and I have that pre-ordered, and I'm so excited for that. And then there is The Girl in the Tower, or The Girl of the Tower, by Catherine Ar Arden. Yes, the sequel to The Bear and the Nightingale. It, I'm actually kind of surprised, because this one came out in, like, February or January, I think. Or that's when I picked it up, at least. I had never heard of it before then. But then the sequel is coming out on December 5th. And I absolutely, this was such a surprise read for me. So I am like, it's, it was just a super weird book. And I'm kind of expecting like the really cool writing and the weird twists and like something I've never really read before, but definitely historical russian -y kind of feel to come out of that one. I'm going to try and read those both in December if I can. So the next question is, what are three books that you want to read by the end of the year? I mean, like most of my bookshelves, essentially. <laughs> but there are some books that as soon as I heard that question, like popped into my mind and I grabbed those. Originally, there was actually five. Actually, I'm going to pull five and like break the rules. So the first book is The Book Jumper by, and I apologize because I'm not going to pronounce this right, 
Metchfield Glacier. This is actually, I think, a 2015 release that I had never heard of until this year. I literally have not read the summary. I saw the title and the cover, and I think it was on, like, the Owl Crate Society. Someone posted it and said, hey, I just read this. Has anyone read it? What do you think? And I was like, I'm offended that I have not seen or heard of this book since. And then it popped up on Book Outlet, so I picked it up, and I'm going to try. It's on my November TBR. I don't know if I'm going to get to it, but nonetheless, I am going to try my darndest, and if not, it is definitely, definitely going to be one of the first few I pick up in December, because... I just need to know. I don't even want to read the summary. I just know that I'm there looks like fairy tale stuff and I assume there's books involved. So I mean like I'm here for that. I almost kind of like wish it's that like was it the library of magicians or something like that with like Macaulay Culkin as a little kid. That movie like I just for some reason connect them. I don't have any idea if it is even remotely related but whatever. The second book that I need to read by the end of this year is The Wizards of Once by, uh, I'm never going to learn how to say this right, Cressida Cowell. I know that she wrote How to Train Dragons, like the books. I never read them. I am so excited for this book. This is another one. It was actually the book of the November box, I think, for the Owlcrate Jr. I had never heard of it, never really been mentioned, and then I saw it in the opening or in like the unboxings, and I saw oh, and my friend Melanie read it and said it was like she liked it. So I'm going to give it a go. And I mean, it's so pretty. The undercover is gorgeous. It's got like a velvety feel. And even the back is like, whoever designed this book series, man, good job. The third book that I need to make sure to read this year is Trader Angels by Anne, Anne, Blank Anna? Anne Blankman. She is the author of Prisoner of Night and Fog. And she is an instant buy author for me. As soon as I found out that she had another book after the Prisoners of Night and Fog duology, I ran and picked it up right away. Again, this is on my November TBR. I don't know if I'm going to get to it. It is a little bit thicker of a book, but I am just really excited for it. It definitely got like a historical fiction-y feel. Once again, I literally did not read the summary. I just saw the author and the cover and was like, I'm going to give it a go. And once again, I think I want to go into it like that. But you can click on the description box below and click on the Goodreads links and, and do a quick read if you want, if you want to know. Because I'm not spoiling myself. The fourth book that I'm super excited to read by the end of the year, I actually just got it this week or this past week. You saw me unbox it if you watch my vlogs, is Speak Easy, Speak Love by Mc... This is a really weird first name. Mikkel? Mikkel? George. It is a 1920s twist on Much Ado About Nothing retelling. I am a huge Shakespeare fan. I just love it and the cover is really cool and it's actually a quite thicker book. I don't care. I need to make sure I read this. It's not going to happen in November, but definitely, definitely in December. And the fifth book that I definitely need to read this year because it is honestly quite offensive that I haven't gotten it yet. I picked the book up, I think, last, like, December 26th, Boxing Day sale on Book Outlet. So, I mean, like, there's literally really no excuse for me to have not read it yet. Black Hearts by Nicole Castroman. I know the sequel's out, and I've heard, and I know it's not a pirate book. It's the story of how Blackbeard, I think it is, got to him. It's not like a pirate ship. It is like the prequel story, so I don't want anyone to be confused about that. I know that the second one came out, and I've heard very mixed things, but I really don't care. I just really want to read it. The concept is really interesting to me, and the cover is really cool too. So I, once again, I'm on this kind of pirate thing right now, and I need to make sure I read this. I don't think I have it on my November TBR, because I was a little bit realistic in that. I know I'm not going to get that, but I'm definitely, this pile is going to be out for my December TBR, which I'm going to film soon. And this definitely has to happen so I can decide if I want to pick up the sequel. The next question is, do you have any books that you're going to be reading or plan on reading before the end of the year that you think could make it into your top reads? And absolutely. I have two titles that Again, once I heard that, just immediately popped into my mind. The first one is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This book is massive, man. I absolutely loved her Lunar Chronicles series. It was, like, perfect to me. Cinder and Scarlet were, like, my favorite books, but that series just gets, like, crazy better as it goes on. And I loved the writing and the inventiveness of it. And I'm just really excited. I think this is going to be an amazing book. Yeah, I just have really high hopes for it. And I've heard nothing but positive things, so... And the second book that I anticipate is going to be really good for me is The Dire King by William Ritter. This was, I think I picked it up two weeks ago. It's the fourth book in the Jacoby series. I absolutely love this series. And another one, it's just gotten better and better with each book. And the third book just kind of blew me away and the strong female characters and then like the weird 
like kind of <gasps> ending and like I just need to know what's gonna happen and I'm happier it's a little bit thicker than I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker it's still not too big and I just loved the writing and like the world and the weird the weirdness like the Sherlock Holmes paranormal feel to it with a woman and yeah I, I have really really high hopes for this book and the last question is have you started planning any 2018 reading goals of course I have I have actually quite a few and I think 2018 I'm going to focus a little bit differently. So 2017 I just wanted to focus on overall numbers. I wanted to read originally it was 60 and that got bumped up very quick because I'm at like 223 books right now. But I think 2018 I'm gonna maybe set like a hundred book goal or something like that but I want to focus on specific types of books or certain categories. I am going to do a full book I am going to do, I think, a full video of that. But in general, I want to try and reread the Outlander series because I hope the next book will be coming out in 2018 or early 2019. I don't want to get my hopes up because that book series and TV show just takes its time, but it always ends up being worth it. And I want to try and read maybe a Shakespeare play once a month. I want to try and catch up on Tamara Pierce, so maybe one or two books of her a month. I think I just want to evaluate, too, how many series I have going and you know, look at how many of them I haven't actually caught up on. I need to catch up on them and then try and realize, of, do you want to continue this series? Yes or no. So that is my goal because 2017, just I started reading like crazy. But the big thing was like, there are so many series that started this year. So, so many. And I was hoping some of them would suck so I wouldn't have to keep reading the series. But it's just like continued, like the whole YA stuff has gotten better. And now I'm starting to lean into some adult stuff and then exploring middle grade as well. So it's getting kind of out of hand almost. So I want to try and like limit myself, like still read what I want to read and not say like, I'm not allowed to read that book, even though I want to read it because I have too many other books going. But look at what I've got going and think, well, I actually haven't read this book since like five years ago. Should I reread it and see if I still want to continue it kind of thing? So that is my end of the year tag. Make sure to check out the description box down below and see all my social media. I will follow you if you follow me. And make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys with my vlog on Friday night or Saturday morning.